Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So today I am back and really excited as usual um, to just talk about a couple of things that of course are lessons and um, that I'm learning and you know, just sharing stuff with you guys. But if this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you so much for tapping on the video and seeing what I'm about. Um, if you are returning, hey friends. Um, and I hope that you'll continue to watch, continue to support. Um, something that I always say is that my, my mission is to make sure that people know that they're loved and also just to give them something to think about, something to encourage them or something to make you laugh. So today we're going to talk about a few things. Authenticity is one thing. Um, and also we'll also touch on mental health um, very briefly. So, um, authenticity. So, um, my, my biggest, my mission for my brand and everything is loving God, loving yourself and loving other people. Um, and I always talk about accepting yourself for who you are, um, appreciating who God created you to be, loving each other, um, you know, understanding people are different and accepting people's differences for what they are. Um, and I, w I also want to put emphasis on how important it is to just be yourself. Um, and I think authenticity is not something that we're really taught um, verbatim. It's kind of like um, you're just modeled how to be or, or how to act and things like that. But um, I don't think I've ever kind of had like a parent or parental figure to sit me down and say, you know, be authentic to who you are. It's more like just, you know, don't try to run with the crowd. So you do get those lessons through different, you know, different sayings. Don't try to run with the crowd. Um, be yourself. Um, but it's kind of like a vague thing. Um, but it's kind of like you have to take the time to really sit down and evaluate what makes me, me. Um, and being authentic to that. Um, just just being an original and being okay with that. Um, so the reason why I want to couple that with, with mental health is because a lot of times, um, you know, a lot of things that we do, we model after either what we see or what is societally expected of us or what is um, generationally expected of us or what is culturally expected of us. Um, and anything outside of that, um, if someone out, you know, outside of that sees you doing anything outside of what the expectation is, it kind of becomes like a strange thing to them, or you know, it could it could kind of force you to um, recoil and not, um, you know, not want to walk in who you are. Um, the great thing about being who you are is that there's no rules um, to that. So. <laughs> If you are, you know, for myself, I'm an African-American woman. If I like to listen to opera, that's cool. Like, it's not, it's not not okay. Like, it's, it's, there's no rule that I have to only listen to rap music or, um, you know, African music, whatever, you know, whatever the cultural thing may be, right? I like all types of music and that's okay <laughs> because I'm just me and that's cool, you know? I, I always talk about that, just being yourself. But again, like those stigmas and things and those, those, um, um, expectations from other people or, or groups or whatever can cause you to doubt yourself and can sometimes cause you, you know, unfortunately to um, be anxious um, in certain situations or anxious just in general about yourself um, can cause you to um, experience depression in different ways. Um, and anything that I talk about, I've experienced. So I, you know, I, I do not um, down those experiences at all because they are very real um, and very, very, um, they can be you know, hard to deal with. So, um, you know, but the things that we have to learn, which I'm learning, have learned and continue to learn is that those things are not there to keep us down. So it's okay to feel these things because they, it's gonna, you know, it happens, you know, you feel depressed or you feel anxious. Um, it's okay to acknowledge them, but in healing, I'm learning that, um, talking about them, you know, and, and just acknowledging what the feeling is or acknowledging what, um, what you're experiencing is different from 
allowing that thing to overtake you and staying in it. So it's kind of like it's kind of like swimming. If you walk into the shallow end of the pool, um, you know you're in the water. You're 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 in the pool. You are swimming or you're enjoying the water. Um, you're experiencing the water. Um, but if you, you know, you know you can't swim, <laughs> and you push yourself out into the deep end and you just stay there, um, as opposed to you know staying on the end that you can handle and, and figuring that out learning lessons and and improving your skills and, and your coping <laughs> you know of that um, water situation um, if you stay there and knowing you don't have the skills or don't reach out to someone for a life life vest you're putting yourself into a predicament <laughs> that is not going to help you improve or it's not going to help you to feel better um, for me, that's kind of like anxiety. So I deal with it sometimes. And um, I know like people are, are kind of like, you know, don't talk about it. Don't say. And it's like, no, I'm not sitting here in a place where I am wallowing. I am merely saying in this time, this is what I am experiencing. And because I recognize it, um, the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So because I realize it, I verbalize it in order to give myself the opportunity to hear what I've said and then be able to know, okay, there needs to be steps to, to take because this is not um, a way I want to stay feeling. This is not something that I want to stay in. And then, of course, being authentic to me, which is why this goes together in my head, being authentic to me, I have to figure out for me what's the best method to find my healing from this feeling that is not good for me. So I know I can't swim, right? I know that I can't. Um, for whatever reason, I just can't do it. I'm afraid, whatever. I feel like something's going to bite me in the water, whatever. I, I know that. I'm going to verbalize that. For me, I need to say that. And then once I say that, then I'm going to address every piece of that in order to thoroughly make sure that within me, I know, okay, I've addressed this, healed from it. I'm addressing this, done. I'm addressing this. And, and, it's, and it's for me, it's taking those things, breaking them down. Because what I've also found is that the things that make us afraid are nine times out of ten fears that have piled up and we haven't addressed in those moments so as a child maybe I feared dogs biting me or feared um, snakes or fear whatever right and I've never addressed that I just kind of avoided them and then something else piles on top of that I can't get into the water because my cousin got bit in the water right so now I'm afraid of animals plus I'm afraid of the water didn't handle that gonna avoid all water gonna avoid all animals next thing you know I'm afraid to go around people that like animals because then I'm gonna be judged because I don't want to be around animals so now that fear is on top of that you see how that just stacked up just that quick so honestly it's like something I'm literally continually learning like there's so many there's so many layers to the things that make us anxious and that that um, cause us depressed moments or depressed experiences there's so many things that cause us not to be true to ourselves and it, it's just it's not something of course that anybody wants to deal with so I think um just in dealing with different things, it's, it's imperative that um, we go back and try to examine where it began. See what, um, not so much what you did or, or others did, but kind of just seeing where that feeling began. And then asking God to, um, you know, give you the time and the patience and the wherewithal to really examine that and see, you know, how you can break those things down, how you can break down those barriers, how you can build up the strength that you need to just be okay in the moment of whatever you're feeling and then being able to address them and grow and heal from them and then share that with other people. Like I said, I've gone through um, anxiety, I've gone through depression and, and sometimes it comes up. Um, but because I had, you know, like a support system around me that would constantly encourage me and because I was able to have the time with just me and God, honestly, to just sit and really think about 
where things come from and like really take the time to exam examine um you know what my fears are and examine why i'm anxious or you know and it's it's kind of it's been such a help to me um just just being able to break down those things um it's you know not perfect and i know that it's a a life work um and i i look forward to you know healing is such a good feeling so um you know i just look forward to that so i hope that something in here will encourage you to do the same thing just take a moment to evaluate um where any of this you know any bad feeling came from or any good feeling came from um cling to the good things and and really try to dig and understand where those bad things came from and the healing that you need you have to you know growing forward helps you to heal and the way you do that is just to really allow God to work in those situations give it over to him and and just address it avoidance is never going to help us grow and because of that we have to face it head for head first you know moving forward knowing that behind us we have a God who is protecting us beside us we have a God who's like our advocate in front of us we have a God that you know he has done this like Jesus himself was here on earth so he knows every struggle that we've ever had um, he is the embodiment of you know of God of course and he's experienced literally everything we've experienced is that's in the bible okay and it's it's such an amazing thing so just knowing that we are surrounded um and completely covered knowing that god has us no matter what we're going through um can allow us also to then grow into being more authentic and being ourselves and and able to really have healthy um mental statuses <laughs> a healthy mindset really having a healthy mindset um you know allowing god to just work things and trusting him that's the that's a big thing we'll talk about trust at another time because trust is something um but i hope this video has encouraged you in some way caused you to think um if you have any questions or whatever comments put them in the um comments below thank you so much for your support um as i always say remember to love god because he is the source of real love remember to love yourself and appreciate who god created you to be good bad ugly and indifferent and remember to love other people because that is the way that your world continues to go around i love you so very much bye